right, here's a quick peek inside a mind for math level A. Um, this one is from the book of Matthew. Just show you what a workbook page looks like. So day number, some problems, word problems. These are review days in the back, so it has a variety of things. So level A is roughly first grade. There's a placement guide on the site. So here's like a regular day. So they're doing word problems that day. So they're all written out here. It's not the lesson, it's just the, the questions to, that they have to answer. And sometimes, like it says, this is how you would write it with a dollar sign. So something like that I would put in the workbook because the um, point is for them to see what it looks like. So because they're working all together, they will do things like, um, you know, 6 times 10. Now this is first grade, but really they just have to count by 10 six times, right? Um, there's a little bit with negative numbers. Um, because everyone's working together, they get exposure to some things like multiplication and division. But they have it their own way, like they'll use blocks and things to divide things into groups. A little bit of fractions and decimals. So there's a lot of word problems because, um, you know, one of the points is to, you know, learn how to use numbers, make them meaningful, not just solve problems. Oh, some spacing problem there. <laughs> My book's for editing. So if you see a mistake, hopefully it'll be all fixed by the time you get it. So anyway, hope that gives you some idea. There's not, um, they're not like taught each fact and, or things like that um, and drilled in them. There's practice to keep up what they know, but they're expected to um, study facts on their own or know how to arrive at the, the answer. Because um, this is just at the beginning of the year. They already have addition and subtraction, um, you know, 9 plus 9 and 18 minus 9. So those are in giant leap. It mostly goes up that high. So they, everyone needs to be working on facts all the time. And again, the placement guide is on the site. So you can see what would be the good level for, the best level for your child.